So this story has been going viral for a couple of days now. This girl, her name is Alexandria. She's from Congo. Uh, her mother, she's the only child. Her mom sent her to Canada for schooling, just for a better life, to give her a head start in life. So typically her mom would send her money or her dad would send her money at the end of the month for her school expenses, for books, and st et cetera, right? So on Tuesday, her dad sent her money for school. And normally when she picks up the money, the kind of child she is, like her routine, she'll be like, oh, thanks, I got the money. Either call them or text them. So the dad sent her money on Tuesday. She didn't say anything. So on Wednesday, like her mom was a little worried because that's not like her. So her mom called her on Wednesday, no answer, text her, no response. So her mom being the, you know, nor her daughter, she's like, something is wrong. So she calls her roommate, her daughter's roommate. And I'm just going to call her Linda because I forgot her name. So the mom called Linda and is like, hey, I haven't heard from Alexandria. Have you heard from her? And Linda's like, no. So she's like, the last time I've heard from Alexandria was like 3 p.m. I haven't heard from her. Maybe you should ask our other roommate. And the mom is confused. And she's like, another roommate? And it's a male roommate too. She's like, a male roommate? I thought it was just the two of you. And Linda is like, no, we have a third roommate. Um maybe i can ask him and the mom is like okay uh can i have his number and linda's like no i can't give you his number i don't think he's going to answer and the mom is just like well i have to ask him i haven't heard from my daughter all day you know and she's like well i'm gonna give you his number but i don't think he's going to answer so linda goes ahead and give the mom this guy let's call him mark mark number so mom called mark call him call him call him and he's like finally picks up and he's like yeah um, the last time I saw Alexandria is when I, you know, dropped her off at the park at 3.40 p.m. Um, today. So by this time, it's nighttime. It's Wednesday night. And he's talking to the mom. He's like, the last time I dropped her off at the park was 3.40 p.m. And the mom is like, did you guys, like, call the police? Like, is there anything? And they're like, well, uh, we didn't call the police, but we think you should call the police. I think they will take it more serious if you call the police. And the mom's just like, can y'all call the police? Like, y'all haven't seen your roommate. This is not like her. Can y'all call the police? And they're like, on, while they're on the phone with the mom. I have so much update on this girl case. Not only did they hear her screaming in the park, the guards, they heard her screaming in the park at 2 a.m., but they also called the police. The police came she was pregnant it's so much okay so let me give you guys a little background so this girl her name is alexandria she's from congo in west africa right she's the only child her parents brought her to canada to study just to give you know better education they were funding her school and she was really close to them because she's the only child she had a roommate and i called her linda this is her roommate and they also had a second roommate that the parents did not know about he was a guy his name let me, i'm just calling him mark right so the parents normally send her money when she gets the money she'll text them and call them and say thank you they send her money on tuesday they never heard from her wednesday they didn't hear from her so they called the roommates and the roommates was like oh the last time we seen her was 3 p.m and the guy roommate but they they didn't know anything about a guy roommate he said he dropped her off at a park at 3 40 p.m so that was i did a whole part one i'm just catching you guys on so this story was not going viral it was getting no coverage or anything like that until the mom put a video out you know and stuff like that so people the congolese people so when the people heard about this story they went to this park right and this park right here i'm gonna show you in the box one that's the guard there's a guard that's at the park the park is one way in and one way out there's no other way they spoke to this lady and this is alexandria in the park right they spoke to the lady and she said that she called the police at 2 a.m because she heard screams okay she saw alexandria come in is on footage and then later on at 2 a.m she heard screams in the park she called the police and the police came and the police also heard scream and they were like we heard scream there was in the park they did a search for like two hours and then they left the police left and then they came back in the morning and that's when they dragged her body out of the water. The police left. They was hearing scream, but they couldn't find her. So they did a two hour search and they left. And after this news exploded and everybody caught onto it, they came back the next day with rescue team and everything. After the story blew up, after TikTok was on fire, they came back and then did the rescue and then they found her in the water. So I was watching the mom recent videos. So they found out two of her daughter's phone was on airplane mode. 
they also found out her daughter was six months pregnant. And in my other video, a lot of you guys were saying, is the male roommate? Is the male roommate? And this story has blown my mind, but what makes me upset about this, a lot of people are criticizing the mom. They're like, oh, why would she bring her daughter to a whole new country that's so far away from her by herself? A lot of country in Africa, a lot of country in like Southeast Asia, India, and stuff like that, they t bring their kids to America, to Canada, to France for education. You know why? So when they kids graduate, they have a better option of landing a job in their home country. So that way, because when you go and you have a degree from America, from Canada, from France, people back home, I know for sure, people back home respect you more. They respect your degree more. They will pay you better. They will respect you better because they feel like your education is better. She was trying to make sure her daughter went. She was trying to make sure that her daughter had like options so i don't understand how people were criticizing the mom to bring her daughter to canada to study that's not that's not the point and honestly like this story has it's just it makes me so sad do you know how beautiful this young lady is like i'm gonna tag her tiktok do you know how gorgeous she is for someone to just take her life and for them to treat it like oh well we heard scream in a park we're gonna come back two hours later for it, for social media to be the reason why this story blows up the way it blew up. I'm lost for words. And actually, I need to go out. I need to get some fresh air. I need to get out of this bubble. I don't know her, but this story touched me so much as a mother. It could be any of us.